folks. Here we have a seismometer or a crude representation of one. So I've created a little uh, vibration platform here with little mass M. I've got two rubber bands that are going to have some stiffness K. And then I essentially said that we have some damping value, which is essentially, you know, the friction. So what happens is, is that there's no forcing function applied to this. So the base itself is fixed to the earth. So if the earth vibrates, so if there's an earthquake and the whole thing vibrates, the whole thing is going to move. Now you notice that if the frequency of the earthquake is low, the mass and the platform move together. So it's no, you know, no real action is happening. But if there's high frequency content, so if there's a high frequency earthquake, you'll actually see that that, that mass in the center moves. Right? And that whole thing is a function of these um, rubber bands here. So the other thing that you can change is say instead of putting the platform fixed to the ground here, I actually raise it up. And so now what I've done is I've essentially removed friction completely. And so now this whole thing can vibrate a little bit more. And so that'll completely change the dynamics of the system. And so now I have a situation where because I've changed the damping constant, the input frequency changes the output response of the little mass here m. Now you can imagine if we, we could build something ridiculously insane and we had somewhat of a semiconductor and this was levitating this piece in place and the thing vibrated, this thing wouldn't move. Now is that practical to build? Probably not. And so your job as the uh, student here is to figure out a way to tune or change rather the value of K, so the stiffness of these rubber bands. And you can imagine that maybe you could change the surface materials of the wood and use like metal, maybe lubricate it and change the damping coefficient like that and see if you can change the overall dynamics so that at the end of the day, the input frequency and the input amplitude is similar to the value that if you imagine if you put a pen here and you're like drawing a line on here, you'd like this to stay inertially fixed so that when the platform moves, you know, the mass is not moving. And so what I can do is I can draw a line on here. If the mass was suspended in the air, imagine I shine a laser down at the ground like this, and when the platform moves beneath it, it draws a line on the uh, collecting surface. And so if you're in my vibrations class or my controls class, this is essentially what you're trying to model. So I'm looking for equations of motion, transfer function, and some sort of analysis telling me the relationship between M, K, and C. I hope you enjoyed this video.